Builders, I'm Sarim Khan. I study in fifth standard, and today I'm back with my new topic, and that is this question. Okay, so this question. First of all, let me inform you. This question is based over work done using the formula W is equals to integral f dot d s. So this question is for J means. So it is of the level of J means. So first of all, let us recite this question. Read this question. So first of all, we need to know that our question is asking to us. That if a force f equals to a x squared plus b x plus c is acting on a particle along x axis, okay? If work done by the force on a particle is w equals to integral f dot d s, and then find the work done by the force, okay? By the force when the particle displaces from x equals to zero to x equals to d. So this is our question. Our the four options are a is a d squared by two. Plus b d plus c, b is asking to us and uh, uh, telling to us that it is a d cube by three plus b d square by two plus c d and c is telling to us no actually it is a d cube by two plus b d square by two plus c d and finally okay so uh, okay here b d okay square by three is and d is zero so here what we can see this is our question so first of all from here will be a big newer solution. So, first of all, we need to know about whether what we have to find out. Okay, we have to find out the work done. Okay, a formula is given that f w equals to integral f dot d s. Okay, f dot d s. Now here, what is given to us? W equals to integral f dot d s. This integration, just like other, we can do such. Just like there are. Okay, by two ways we can find out the work. Done. First method is okay. First of all, what force is given and what displacement is given, multiply to them both. And second method is which integrate to f with respect to s. What is first method? Then multiply to the displacement. If we have force and displacement, both numerical values, so multiply them. Okay, find out the dot product, and we'll be getting the answer. And our next method is that we have to integrate. Okay, we have to integrate this function f with respect to the s. Okay, with the dot ds. Okay, with respect to ds. So here, what we have to do? So we are going to use this method here. We'll be integrating the f with respect to ds. So first of all, x from x equals to zero to x equals to d. What has been given? Okay, here force has been given. We can write that where. F is equals to what? F is equals to a x squared plus b x plus c. Okay, f value we have been getting that f is equals to a x squared plus b x plus c. This is our f magnitude. Now we have to find out the work done during this when the force is this is applied during a displacement from x equals to zero to x equals to d. This is okay from so here. From x equals to zero to x equals to to x equals to d. Okay, so first of all, this question arises that what is x? So let me be informing you that x is same as s. Okay, now we can just come to know that x is also the displacement and s is also the displacement. So that's our point. So here at the place of s, we can put x. Then implies that. W is equals to integral of f dot dx. At the place of s, we can put x because x is also displacement here and s is also displacement. This we are getting now. Only we have to put our values from where to where. Okay, just like here is equals to. Okay, integral. First of all, f value what we have? A x squared plus b x. Plus c. Now, from where to where? Okay, this is definite integration. We'll be doing definite integration. So, question arises: What are the limits for it? From where to where? So, let me be informing you. Okay, here dot t x. So here, with respect to what we have to do, dx. With respect to dx, we'll have to integrate this function f with respect to dx. So which quantity? Okay, here we'll be putting which variables. Just like which limits here we'll be putting and here. Okay, lower limit and upper limit will be also of some parts of dx. So just like from where to where. Just like this, we have to find the work done. Okay, when this force is applied during a displacement x equals to zero and x equals to d. So here we can put them as limits. So first of all, which is lower limit x equals to zero, and now two x equals to 
what d x equals to 0 to x equals to d so now only what we have to do while integrating this function integration we already have studied what we know about integration so first of all if we integrate this function so what will be getting only what we have to do okay first of all integrate this okay just like first of all if we try by formula so what will be getting by integrating this so that will be ax okay cube by 3 because here it is ax uh, just like if we have ax squared so while integrating ax squared will be getting ax okay ax power n if power is n then power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so x cube plus 3 okay plus bx squared here will come bx squared by 2 now plus okay here down also the same number will be now see with see any x is not but even in x will be added and x power 1 is 1 so divided by 1 is cx itself now we'll put them under brackets we know that while integrating where after this symbol of integral we put them under brackets and here we'll be putting the limits so from x equals to 0 to x equals to d now only what we have to do while solving this let at the place of x okay first of all at the place of x we'll be putting d okay later we'll be trying to solve this always wherever x is given here 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 so at the place of this x we'll be putting d later minus minus symbol will come and again at the place of x now we'll be putting 0 so 0 0 0 and later we'll try to subtract this and finally what we'll be getting that will be our final answer so which is equals to what so first of all which is upper limit upper limit first will be putting x equals to z sorry d so d will be putting which is equals to a d cube okay at the place of x will be putting d so a d cube by 3 plus b d square by 2 now plus now here at the place of x d so plus c d okay a d cube by 3 plus b d square by 2 plus c d now minus a negative symbol will come always we have to subtract while integrating okay any definite integration while doing so minus now this lower limit uh, okay now this which lower limit is present here is that will be putting its value at the place of x so that is zero so at place of x will be putting zero so zero cube since we know that zero cube is always zero and zero into a is zero zero by three is zero okay now zero this we are getting this is zero plus this will be also zero plus this will be also zero and if we add zero three times so that's three into zero three into zero is also zero so minus zero which is equals to what a d cube by three plus b d square by two plus c d minus zero is equals to itself okay here now zero no need to write we are not sub zero means nothing and if we don't subtract anything from any quantity x so we are getting the same quantity x so here what we can see finally after integrating this function f with respect to dx means that's the w because w is the integration of f with respect to ds so after integrating this what we are getting okay ad cube by 3 plus bd square by 2 plus cd and here any constant of integration means c will not add why it will not add because here it is a definite integral when it is indefinite integral then it will another uh, constant of okay integration that is c c is added okay plus c is added but here it will be not added because it is definite integral not any indefinite type of integration so finally what we are getting after integrating this function with f with respect to dx so that is this okay this function we are getting so finally that is the work done okay that is our work done so finally what we are getting in options by which it is matching we since we know that it is matching by our second option hence the second option is correct so the correct option is second okay finally we are getting the uh, that the option b is correct uh, option or correct answer that is ad cube by 3 plus bd square by 2 plus cd so b is the second op uh, correct option so first of all let me inform you that this was my today's topic thank you